Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your January 2019 general reading. Uh, it's a general read, so it will not resonate with every Aquarius who views the video. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, ex purchase the extended reading at the end. Always remember the extended reading is $1.75. So take advantage if it resonates and you don't want to purchase a full reading for yourself. It's an inexpensive way of getting a, you know, a more in-depth look into maybe your situation. Okay. I feel like January 2019, I feel like all of 2019 is, you know, Aquarius time. We're going into the Empress year. You add 2019 up, we get a three, if I'm correct. So that's the Empress. Going into family, um, womanhood, uh, what you create what you're you're actually creating from from the ground up you're in creation mode for 2019 not just Aquarius but um, all people because it's um, you know a three year okay Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck so we know she makes very solid grounded decisions of course we're going into New Year's resolution season right um she's concerned about her body uh the physical appearance and you know the inner she's concerned about uh health in all aspects she con she's concerned about the world she's concerned about the pentacle her money her stability this could be a a, a him also um she's making decisions in regards to everyday life uh, the governing of the pentacle the king has it you know it's more so a maintaining or a management position with the king she's more so worried about um, creating it and um, governing it so she's doing the work here okay all right so so we got on the bottom of the deck for 2019 Aquarius, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Temperance, Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Okay, we're back Aquarius. So, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Temperance card, Five of Swords, and the page of pentacles the queen of uh, pentacle at the bottom of the deck so this looks like a situation where the aquarius once again uh doing governing work the seven of pentacles talks about looking over a cycle looking over you know seven is a cycle looking at the work done energy time expended on a particular situation where you fill in the blank it could be work it could be love whatever it may be but this is evaluating do i want to eight of pentacles put more work into this have the strength to put more work into a situation because i'm trying to eventually get to ten of pentacles or do i abandon you see how he looks at the seven of pentacles do i abandon this this way uh this way of gaining income um this way of uh putting my time and effort into do i abandon this uh or do i continue with it um this the chariot gear governs the sevens so this is definitely a situation where the Aquarius has to do to real evaluation of by way 
you get control because the chariot is about control the light and the dark the sun and the moon uh, the pros and the cons of a situation and gaining control of that and then moving forward so Aquarius says do I continue here or do I walk away that is where Aquarius is in a particular situation uh, they've put so much time energy and effort into something now they want to take back the reins because the reins have been given over to maybe somebody put in more energy and effort than the other someone was given more somebody was taking so now Aquarius is at a place of what do I do definitely at that place eight of cups do I abandon ship do I completely abruptly walk away from what I have been investing in emotionally physically time energy effort money emotionally um, would I have my emotions my feelings um, completely invested in do I have the strength the eight the Leo card the strength card governs the eights to have the strength to walk away to emotionally check out see because before you do any physical right any physical walking away uh, you have to first have the thought or the emotion so do I even have a strength to completely take back that's where the strength comes from my emotion in a situation that was not yielding me what I want um, in a situation where I felt like I was putting doing all the work in regards to trying to hold it together where I was not emotionally fulfilled but maybe the other person was or is I have the strength to walk away uh, and find balance Sagittarius card temperance to have the strength some of you are waiting for perfect timing this is also a card of timing wait perfect timing to either do this walk away wait for perfect timing because Something is coming back. The five of sword talks about a mental verbal fight. Um, a cropping up of the past. Coming back. Uh, the five of swords is a heavy argument because this is long standing. Whatever you're fighting about, this isn't new. This isn't petty. It's not, oh, you never put the toilet seat down. Or you always take my car and don't fill the tank back up. It's not that. This is, I thought we were past it, four of swords. But now it has come back, five of swords. Interference. In, in between us getting to the six of swords in, uh, in between us getting to peace serenity, calm uh, the fives governing the hierophant some of you could be having trouble in long standing institutions the institution of marriage long standing institution of uh, corporations where you work um, what you've been you know putting energy effort and time into for years uh, institutions of the mind some of you are really trying to tear down those walls those maybe not so good uh, mental institutions that you've created in, in the way you think you're trying to reshape and reform those uh, this is definitely interference something has come back from the past and now are we going to stay in the five of swords? Are we going to go to the six of swords? Are we going to go back to the four? Maybe separate. Maybe try to heal this situation. Definitely separate. What are you going to do? Uh, maybe because 
there's newness page of pentacle you could start something new or you have started something new or somebody comes in new to start something there are messages of newness stability elsewhere it's very new and it's only messages that something could be very foundational for you elsewhere this could be a career finance love and romance whatever you know what you have been wrestling with this is a situation of trying to gain control doing the governing work of your life a page of pentacle this is very new this could be a young person it's messages though it's not an offer um It has the potential to be very long lasting and strong. This could even be a strong hold in your life for some of you Aquarius. Look, his arms are very built, right? And then look at his legs, they're puny. So it's like, this is a, a, a message that whatever this is, it's very new. It's, it may be in its infancy, um, but it has the potential to be very long lasting and strong in your life. But it's still very new, still very weak. It's about you building up. So this is why it's just messages. And you're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck, because you're trying to do the, you're, co you're concerned about money issue, energy, effort, time expended in a situation where do you put where are you going excuse me in which direction are you going queen of pentacle let's pull us a butterfly oracle card to see what we should be focused on moving forward or maybe what is this in regards to love and romance career and finance Let's see where we are and what we're doing. Okay. Then we're going to go over to the extended read to see what this January 2019 looks like. Parental care. To have the page of pentacle here. Sentimental feelings, definitely. Keep the faith. Let's get one more for Aquarius. Okay. All right. Support and join in. Very interesting cards. Sentimental feelings, keep the faith, support, join in, parental care. Um, definitely about Aquarius doing some self governance. Govern yourself accordingly. I'm going to pull one card for each butterfly card. Parental care. So this could be in regards to your own parents. Or you are a parent and you need to be concerned about your children. Parental care. Parental care. Yeah, page of sword. Get more information about your children. Something is cropped up from the past, maybe in regards to your children. Um, interference. Uh, somebody's in their ear. So there's influence here. Who is or what is influencing your children? Sentimental feelings. We've got several cards that fell. Okay, sentimental feelings. Let's 
sentimental feelings. Give me one card for sentimental feelings. Sentimental feelings. A little fortune. So something has changed. The wheel of change and ending happening. A ten. But you still... Uh, emotions isn't here. The card emotions isn't here. So it's not like you are engulfed in your emotions about maybe an ending or something changing. But more so you feel still a, a connection. Maybe even a sense of obligation or a sense of what if. Uh, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Okay? Uh, in regards to something changing. The wheel turning. Okay? Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Something ended. Uh, somebody lost a baby. Some, you lost something. Loss is there. Okay. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Seven of Wands. Keep striving, keep fighting, keep protecting, keep standing your ground, your position. Because once again, this is a seven. It talks about the chariot. Keep keep your position about something. Someone is um, something or someone has you in a place of wanting to it to move or wanting you to move away from your position. Support. What is support? Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a woman who um, is wise. She's been through a lot. She could be a divorcee, business owner, makes rational strategic decisions could be you Aquarius um, could be someone else you're dealing with could be a Virgo also support somebody who wants truth someone who asks a lot of questions already knowing the answer but they want to know what you have to say the devil wow. support you may have to have support like I said here, um, governing yourself, uh, vices popping up from the past, fighting to stay on the straight and narrow for some of your fighting, or trying to govern if you should uh, continue walking a path, uh, codependency, fears. You shouldn't be fearful. There is support here. Okay. Join in. Could be dealing with a Capricorn also. Join in. What is join in about? Okay. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> um. Some of you, I laugh because have really. Some of you have really good ideas, really good ideas, really good creative outlets that you aren't letting too many people in on. Um, I think it'd be healthy for you to let this out. Let it out and let so you can let more creative processes. Being around other people. Joining talks about joining groups of people. Um, meeting people. Because you're so closed off for some of you. Open up. Join in. Give me one more card. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Be look how she extends her cup. Be open to creative 
um, exchange, influence, be open to the giving of your cup and receiving of someone else's. Okay. All right. So we're going to open this up at the website. This looks really good for January 2019. It looks like Aquarius is a uh, Aquarius is in a place where this is just self governance you've got yourself to a place okay of I'm good maybe financially mentally you know emotionally but now I'm evaluating what I'm doing in regards to other people in regards to no one man being an island I'm good but Am I good for, or is this situation good for me in regards to whatever? What's good? Which way am I going? That's where it looks like Aquarius is. Um, some of you have ended something, but trying to stay strong and walking away, disciplining children, getting more information. Uh, yeah. Okay. So meet me over at the other side. The link is below. $1.75 gets you the extended reading. Purchase merchandise to get a free five-minute consultation with me. Um, purchase a gift card in the denomination of $50 or more. Get a free five-minute reading. Go over to the website. Book a personal reading with me for the new year. Um, now I'm not going to do new year spreads for all 12 zodiac signs but you can purchase one for yourself over at the website and it'll be the 2019 and I do them by three months I like to look at them so you'll purchase a three month spread and we'll talk about the course of the next three months and and then the next three months will come up and I'll do those for the you know if you want to purchase that but um Let's look at it in a three-month scope, okay? All right, Aquarius, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. God bless. Bye.